Johnny Park played in six of the little cars in. Now, we don't have many actors or actresses doing movies here anymore, so our wildlife has become our stars. So as we hang over this first spring, ladies and gentlemen, which is just about 28 feet deep, I will try my best on the main impersonations, trying to get some of those stars to come up and say hi to you. Now where that gray rock meets that lets down there, that is your actual spring. That spring down there is 28 feet deep. Oh yeah, looks to be very, very deceiving around here, let me tell you. Now if for any reason you guys do not get to see the springs or anything that I'm trying to show you at the bottom of the glass, please, please remember, it's your fault. I'm joking, I'm joking. I just put it from 360 degrees so everybody gets to see what I'm talking about. Sir, there's the spring. Ta-da! Ta-da! You say that's 28 feet? I'm sorry? You say that's 28 feet? Yes, sir. Let's, let's not upset the child. <laughs> I'm trying to speak in a monotone voice here. <laughs> Now these beautiful little fish that you see coming into view at the bottom of the glass, guys, these are called bluegill. To view at the bottom of the glass, I give you that 38-foot creature spring. This spring down here is when they did all the underwater filming and sequencing for the creature of the Black Lagoon. The star of that movie was a gentleman by the name of Rico Browning. Where that bee meets that cold, that cold meets that crust down there, that is your actual spring. That spring down there is 38 feet deep. This one's deeper. Look, there's a fish all the way down there. Now we have just about 27 different species of fish here, but not limited to seven different type of bass, two different type of gar. We have the catchers here. We have that high point jump out of the water and smack that down fish called bullets. We have that come up, go up some air and go back down all the way down fish called bullets. And we have a species of fish here that does not belong here at all. It's called tilapia. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, no, they got a w coming a into view at the bottom of the glass, you guys are going to see something That's so true. awesome, so wonderful, so amazing, so unbelievable. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, coming into view at the bottom of the glass, you guys will see something that resembles the backbone of a dinosaur. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Now, the University of Florida, they actually have this tested down here. And it turns out that that down there is, in fact, a tree. A rock. <laughs> but if you look alongside that rock, you'll see a piece of wood. And the University of Florida also took that piece of wood to their facility in Gainesville. And it turns out that that piece of wood down there is actually, in fact, a Native American dugout canoe left here by the Tanukwan Indians over 500 to 600 years ago. Is that not cool or what? You see down there blowing around. That is actually limestone and snail shells that has been down there for thousands of years. But most people take it for granted. <laughs> That's okay, I'll let the rest of you guys marvel over that situation. <laughs> now, with making it actually blow and push up out of force, is something that we call the flood an aquifer, which is rainwater that comes to our underground cave and cabin system and pushes it out here. Now, that is what actually forms our natural. Big fish. Whoa. Big fish. That's a big spring. Look at that. 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 Look
The morning of the show when we left is now just about 32 minutes down the river. This brings you to the third large and so well, far for all the way that it actually has a 24 minute cycle. The pit is every 24 minutes. There's brand new fresh spring water being put from these springs going all the way back. Now that is why all of our springs are so crystal clear. Now speaking of crystal clear, at times when this sunlight hits this crystal clear water, it lights up that limestone and that snail shell. That limestone and that snail shell shine and shimmered so brightly that the Native Americans actually mistook it for silver. And that is why they nicknamed this the Silver Springs. Now years ago this used to be owned and operated by ABC Studios. This is why so many different movies and TV series were filmed here. Now one of those TV series that was filmed here was in the 1960s. And it goes by the name of I Spy, starring Robert Culp and Bill Cosby. And in one of those episodes, they thought that they found a city of Atlanta. We do have these three brothers, these awesome Greek gods, these magnificent wonder beings. Ladies and gentlemen, coming into view at the bottom of the glass, I give you Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. Ladies and gentlemen, these statues stand at an awesome seven and a half feet tall. They are in 38 feet deep of water. And they are made from an ancient substance called fiberglass. <laughs> now there were originally 13 of these guys. And then ABC Studios decided that they wanted to pull them up. And the residents of Florida got very upset. So they left those three guys here for our viewing pleasure. So these three guys became our resident superstar movie stars. Move over, John Travolta. <laughs> now, there was also the two James Bond films, Moonraker and Never Say Never Again, starring Sean Connery. And that green stuff that you've been seeing waving around down there, ladies and gentlemen, looking oh so wavy, that is algae. <laughs> Did everybody have a fight get to see those statues over there? No. How about everybody in the middle? Everybody in the middle got to see them all right? Yes. Awesome. Who said no? Oh, okay. All right, I just want to make sure. Okay. Well, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that just about concludes our tour. I don't, I don't want it to end either. Besides, and we've been doing this for just about a hundred years. No! Never had to use those things before, guys. We are not going to start today. Now, for any reason, you guys do want to break my heart. And